after installing Windows Server 2016, you can start working. But before that, there are some initial configuration to perform for making the server ready to work. The post installation process involves configuring all of the other settings that the server requires before it can be deployed to a production environment. So we have to perform initial configuration tasks such as renaming the server, setting up the time zone, configuring the network connection properties, joining a server to existing domain, enabling remote desktop and some other settings are there. In the last video, we just saw how we can install Windows Server 2016 and Oracle VM VirtualBox. In this tutorial, we will see how we can perform initial post installation configuration task in Windows Server 2016. So already I opened a so manager dashboard in Windows Server 2016 VM. Let's click on local server. Renaming the server is our first initial configuration task. By default, Windows Server has set up a unique name and that is win and that is some numbers. So let's click on it. On the computer name tab, click on change and here you can specify the name that you want to assign to your server. I am going to specify WS 2016 for Windows Server 2016. Let's click on OK. That will give you a one pop-up. You must restart your computer to apply these changes. Let's click on OK. Let's click on Close. And you can restart now by clicking on Restart Now. Or you can also restart this server later on. We are going to select Restart Server later on. Now our next task is joining the server to existing domain or promoting the server to a domain controller. In the next video, we will see how we can join Windows Server 2016 to existing domain. And we will have a separate video to promote Windows Server 2016 as a domain controller. But before you join the server to a existing domain or promote the server as a domain controller, you must configure server's TCP IP settings and that is our next task. By default, initially Windows Server 2016's Ethernet adapter is set to obtain IP address automatically from DHCP server. Let's click on IP version 4 address assigned by DHCP. That will open Network Connection Console. On a Network Connection Console, select your Ethernet adapter, right click on it and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and then click on Properties. From this screen, you can assign a static IP address to your Windows Server 2016 computer as per your network range. But I'm not going to assign a static IP address right now to this server. That's why I'm going to click on Cancel, Cancel and let's close this console as well. Now let's uh, enable remote desktop for this server. So for that, you have to click on Disable and that will open system properties again on a remote tab. We have to select allow remote connection to this computer. So let's select it. That will give you a one another pop-up box and that will tell us that remote desktop firewall exception will be enabled automatically. Let's click on OK. Let's click on apply and OK again. Keeping our server protected and updated is the most important task. By turning on automatic update on your server, that will automatically download latest updates from Microsoft Update site and install it on your Windows Server. In Windows Server 2016, the by default selected option is install updates automatically using Windows Update. So we don't have to change anything for Windows Update. So as you can see, Windows Defender protection is currently turned on. Now our next task is setting up the time zone. So let's click on time zone. Let's click on change time zone and select UTC plus 530 Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai, New Delhi time zone. Let's click on OK. Let's click on OK. Now as you can see, the information which we set for time zone is not updated yet. So let's click on refresh button and here you can see now the information is updated on this console. So that's it. This was all about the initial configuration of Windows Server 2016. Remember, we didn't assign a static IP address 
to our Windows Server 2016 computer. We will see how we can assign a static IP address in Windows Server 2016 in our next video. Now let's uh, restart the server once as we rename the server and our restart is pending. After restart, let's again log into our Windows Server 2016 computer. After logging to your Windows Server 2016 computer, let's click on local server. And here you can see our computer name is currently WS 2016, which we set earlier. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.